Spectacular. Oh, oh, no. No. Erin and I are at the end point of our trip. We're just dropping off her truck as our shuttle vehicle. We'll be taking out here in three days. It's a short trip, but should be a pretty exciting one. We're trying to get Erin her first brookie for her birthday. First, we're trying to figure out how to access the White Otter. Lots of forestry roads up here, but lots of them are washed out. We thought this creek might take us to the White Otter River, but uh, I don't know. We've been following it for a bit and it doesn't seem to connect or it's too far ahead. So we're gonna look for another access point. We just tried a second road to uh, get into our access point and we ran into an impasse. So we ended up taking the farthest access point away, which uh, adds 20 kilometers to the route and three ports. But that's okay, it's still about 70 clicks in total over the three days, so still fine. Oh, oh there's a brook trout. Yeah. Aggressive. Saw it. Aggressive, okay. Aaron's uh, first brookie might happen real fast on this trip. Yeah! <laughs> All right. right off the bat, your first brookie. I haven't even started paddling yet. <laughs> Oh, That's a, a beautiful fish, hon. Right. Beautiful. How do I uh, keep hold of this little slime? Uh, just around the body. Yeah? Yeah. Don't do a gill hold or anything on these guys. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the hook should come out. Barbless. Don't let it go, though. Come on. Need a good picture of that. That is a marvelous first brookie, honey. Can you hold that up? Oh. Spectacular. Uh, oh, oh, slippery. Oh, no. no, 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 oh, that's no. not where I want you to go. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, come here, come here. In between the bags. Oh, here. sorry. Oh, okay, let's get him back then. Okay. That's great. Beautiful. Beautiful. You go back there. Oh, yeah. And gone. Sorry about that. That is awesome. Too excited. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Good start. <laughs> Okay, so now we got your first brookie. All we need is my first Aurora Borealis. Yes. No problem, right? No problem. Simple goals for this trip. I don't think we're asking too much. <laughs> Anyone? Okay. Just so I just lost their second one, but I had another bite. It was a pretty small one. What am I using here? I've got a small paddle tail. Barbless hook, of course. And a flasher jig. And uh flasher jig. I don't know much about fishing. <laughs> Shh. But I have the best guide. <laughs> Super happy for Erin, um, but I worked so hard to get my first brookie. <laughs> she just got it right off the bat. Just to show you where we're going, we're going down the White Otter River. Oh, snag? Okay. <laughs> Uh, White Otter River down into the Pick River. You're probably not getting much out of this map. <laughs> uh, should be a nice northern river trip for the next three days. Too easy, eh, hon? Ooh. You're just an expert speck fisher. Fish in a barrel. <laughs> You're beautiful. Look Don't forget to tip your guide. Fins. Yeah, spectacular. Do they have white tips always? Yep. Oh my goodness. Look Sometimes at that. more vivid than others, but. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wonderful. Beautiful. Wow. Make sure you wet your hands when you handle them. Bye, buddy. Thank you. Hope you find your dad. All right. Oh my goodness. Congrats. Have you ever been paddling down a river when you spook about 20 brook trout and they all scoot away from the canoe? Because that's what just happened to us. We're going to fish this spot, I think, eh, hon? I think that's a good idea. Okay. Oh. 
So Aaron has come down with uh, a sudden illness, which in the medical community is known as Brookie fever. Symptoms include wanting to stop at every riffle to fish for Brookies, catching Brookies, being obsessed with trying to catch Brookies. Um, so she's not going to be quite herself for the next three days, but um, she's she's seeming okay. How are you doing? Great. Yeah, okay. Are you thinking about Brookies right now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's a sickness. It's a disease. But we'll manage it together. We'll manage the symptoms. Okay, thank you. Just standing by my side. Through thick and thin. There are two small brookies just hammering my uh, little Cleo here. There are tons of small brookies in here. We're, uh, we upsize our lures a bit so that we're not catching too many. We don't want to damage them. Just trying to find some bigger ones. So because it's Aaron's birthday, we got some extra treats this time. Some lots of nice food. Uh, got dehydrated fruit, pineapple, mandarin oranges, and um, what are these purple ones called again? Plums. Plums. <laughs> Chocolate, candy, smart food, two bite brownies. We're feasting. Short He's... trip, so it's easier to pack some luxuries. He spoils me. <laughs> We've been uh, experimenting with dehydrated fruit this season quite a bit. Our favorite every time, every time we try something new, we're just kind of feeling like we should have just made more pineapple. Pineapple is the best. Watermelon's good. The plums are pretty good. The mandarin oranges are disgusting. So bitter. They just taste like an orange is bad. Yeah, pretty much. And there were such good oranges fresh. <laughs> it was no fault of the original orange. Come here. Another rescue. Ooh, he's pretty eager to get out of here. But I don't think he's well. ready. First rapids coming up here. I think we have to port them. Much to our dismay and absolute shock, we can't get a bite here beneath these little falls. But I did find a uh, survey marker, which is pretty cool. Surveyed in 1947, is when it was put in here. Always like seeing these. <laughs> Time for a big lunch here. Got a couple of small steaks, some small white potatoes, and then red peppers and cremini mushrooms. And I'll be trying out a new grill today. It's the Biddy Big Q. It was sent to me by a viewer. Thanks, David, appreciate this. Really cool folding grill. Got a carrying bag, a scraper for the grill, which is really handy for a clean person like me. I like that. I get asked to showcase uh, products on the channel sometimes and I never, I never do. I have no interest in commercializing the channel. Uh, but this was a viewer, David watches, um, and he didn't ask for anything. There's no money being exchanged here. He didn't ask me to say anything particular, just gave it to me unconditionally. So I appreciate that. That's something I can do. Normally I'm good with cooking right on the fire with my, uh, my pots, metal pots. Uh, but uh, with a steak, it's nice to have a grill, right? Sets up really easily, folds down super compact, really clever design. There's plenty of firewood on this beach, it's just chock full, but my birthday is coming up this week and John gave me a couple early birthday gifts and one of them is this saw and I just can't wait to use it because I love cutting firewood. So even though it's 
not necessary. I'm gonna process some firewood for fun. Thank you. Oh yeah. Where'd How you get that you hot knife like and butter? That? How does it feel? <laughs> Amazing, like a knife and butter. <laughs> The silky uh, gomboy, I think, right? Silky gomboy. Yeah. So far, it's amazing. <laughs> Look at that go! <laughs> Yeah. Probably should have brought a good knife. It's all right. I'll caveman it. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. That's a good steak. Thank you. Welcome. What a backcountry meal. <laughs> I hate these plastic sporks so much, <laughs> but it's my backup. Oh. <laughs> there you are, Spilly. Drop the Throw it in the precious fire. We got taters. Taters for days. Mmm. The spillies here. Mmm. Yep. That's good. Thank you. Is that done enough? Mm hmm. That's perfect. I like it's still a little pink, but not bleeding. Mm hmm. Perfect. Not bloody, but still pink. That's how we like it. Juicy. Mm -hmm. I really like this scraper. It's got teeth that match the grate. Oh yeah. Can't have a dirty grill. That little grill was great. Uh, David sent me a, a link and I think a promo code uh, if you're interested in buying it, I'll put it in the description. Just saw three bears here on the shore, but uh, they scuttled off before I could get my lens on them. It was a sow, two cubs. Might have to just wait it, but yeah, that's... If anything's gonna work, it's gonna be that. Take it gingerly and hop out if you need to. That's shallow. I'll have to go hard left here. Don't paddle, let up, let up. Yep. Paddle hard, hard, hard. Oh, hard, hard, hard. Good job. Well done. Well done. Good direction. Good tricky one. through that last part you want to shot us through into this boulder garden here no chance No 
way we could run it. No. We would have just been. Yeah. Yeah, there's no chance we were gonna run that. Our, uh, our canoe guide, I think, said this one was runnable. It might have been talking about an earlier rapid. It's hard to tell. It's such a small scale map. It's about seven o'clock now, and we want to find camp as soon as possible before it gets too late. Oh, there's a beaver. There's no poop out of me. But it's uh, like a typical river. It's pretty can be pretty hard to find anywhere decent to camp. So as soon as we find something half decent. We'll take it. Hard here, hard. Why are we on the wrong Sorry, right? me hard, yeah. Uh -oh. To the left. To the left, left. Oh, oh. Just cleared that. That didn't go at all how I was planning. I don't know what you were saying. Oh. Because we couldn't go on the right side of that. There's a ledge, right? But to the, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just checked out this beach here, which is really nice. But we've got the hammocks. Right now we were wishing we had the tent. There's nowhere to hang the hammocks. It is, oh no, 7 7 So it's about 20 after seven. And uh, for the last hour, we've been trying to find somewhere to stop. It's just really thick forest in here and steep banks. So we were worried about finding a place to hang our hammocks, but it looks like we found a decent place. There's a really nice sand beach, which will be nice. And then uh, this is the clearest spot we found. It's actually really nice. So we should be able to get a couple hammocks in here and have a nice sight for the evening. Um, everything else looked exactly like this. Uh, and we are wondering where we are going to find a place to put some hammocks tonight, but we found it. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It was a great day. Mm -hmm. Fantastic day. Your first brookie. Mm -hmm. Set up camp and wait for some aurora. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. okay. So we're all set up. And the funny thing is we are stopped at pretty much where we tried to first access the route today, the White Otter. We're not even quite there yet, so we're just past these rapids. So we'll be starting tomorrow with a 500 meter plus port, which is probably not cleared at all. And uh, starting the same trip we intended to do in three days, in two days. Hopes are back, uh, particularly mine. Erin has seen Northern Lights really good displays a few times in her life. She grew up in the north. I have not. I've seen some, but never vivid. There is a glow on the horizon for sure. Uh, the clouds have dissipated a bit. You can see stars. It's 10 o'clock now. I'll give it another hour for sure. Hopeful. The real miracle is that I'm still awake. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we got a glow on the horizon. That seems to be about it. I've been waiting for almost two hours, so I'm gonna hit the hay. If anything fires up, I can still see the northern horizon from under the tarp here in the hammock. So I'll be keeping an eye until I fall asleep. Probably won't be long. Gonna be a good sleep. So cozy here. Beaver's slapping his tail at us. Doesn't like us. I can't tell, it's a trout, probably a brookie. Good little fighter. Oh, it's really silvery. What's 
I wonder if it's a rainbow. Yep, rainbow. Oh, just lost it. Nice little rainbow. It's okay. I didn't want to pull it out of the water. Oh, he got free. <laughs> Might be a rainbow. Hold on, play it. Ah. He was this big. <laughs> be nice to see a rainbow though. <laughs> Aaron just got this guy, just netted it. Beautiful little trout. Wanna see it? Sure. Make sure your hands are wet. Yeah, Cool spots on him. Yeah. He escaped? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Got a 500 meter port here around these rapids, Skunk Rapids. This is LeMay Road, the road that we initially tried to access on. We tried to access a little further down the road before it washes out. It's washed out on both ends, so this bridge is no longer accessible by, by car anyway. This 500 meters is the longest port of the trip, so that's pretty nice. It's kind of cool being on this road. It feels kind of post-apocalyptic being on a, a bridge that's completely unused. Nice view up here, Skunk Rapids. Aaron's birthday weekend and she wants to take the canoe. I'm a lucky man. It's not that easy to do a 500 meter port when you have when you're not used to it and your shoulders haven't been worked in. Aaron's a strong woman. The fishing on this trip started out so good. We thought it was going to be so easy, but we've been getting hammered by small trout. But we're not looking for small trout for the pan. We're just looking for a nice photo fish. But the rapids aren't holding hardly anything. It's bizarre. We're paddling along and Aaron's like, it's a bleeping monster. <laughs> it was a beaver swimming under the water. They look like beach balls down there. That was a monster fish. Yeah. <laughs> This rapid was not marked on the topo map or on the route map. 
which is real surprising because it's probably been here for millennia. And we're walking on these super slippery rocks to get through this. Shocking, the rapids are holding nothing. No. So hard, hard, hard. <laughs> yeah, hard, hard. Uh, hard left, yep, yeah, feet out of hard, hard, hard. No, 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 oh, sorry, same way you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Sorry. You were right. I called left, meaning direction left. I should have. Okay. It's my fault. We made, it we made it. Some bank swallow holes in there. Yeah. How's your kill zone? Perfect. This rock? Mm-hmm. That'd be a nice sight. And go uh, right, yeah. and then a bit left. Oh, what? Oh, so the water just magnifies stuff. Yeah. Clear cedar up the bank and follow. There it is. You see it? Yeah, that's an owl. Right. Beautiful. Sand. Look at the water line. Mm. We're at the meeting of the pick and the White Otter Rivers here. It was supposed to be a portage. We did one portage earlier we weren't supposed to have, so call it even for the day. Now we gotta find someone to hang some hammocks. Yep. We're briefly paddling up the Pick River, upstream to Middle Falls, or a couple waterfalls we wanna hit on this route, and this one requires a little detour. That's nice, actually. It's beautiful. I think I'll wait it here again. <laughs> yeah.
real happy we checked that out. That's an amazing waterfall. But we got to get out of here and make camp yet again. Just shocking that there aren't oodles of fish at the bottom of these rapids. We were paddling down the Pick River looking for somewhere to set up camp. We are soaked through and decided we couldn't get too picky. So we're up in here, but it's actually pretty sweet. It's in a spot with some really old cedars. Hi. Hello. <laughs> really nice cedars here. And uh, the canopy is covering us from the rain largely. We got the tarps up. We're just gonna chill here tonight. Don't judge her. I forgot the crackers. For dinner tonight, we have a block of cheese. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I guess. That's a good, mm, I can't show you. It's a mild Gouda. It's pretty good, as long as no one's judging. <laughs> Aaron was just saying how satisfying it is uh, to enjoy the simple pleasures of uh, just being dry and warm on a camping trip like this. It, it's so nice. This, this is so lovely. Just swaying here, relaxing, thinking. If we were at home, we would probably be watching Netflix tonight. Yeah. This is better than Netflix right now. Yeah. Cheers. Something's been there recently. Mm -hmm. bears. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a sand mountain that, that tall. <laughs> it's super cool. Awesome. Great morning so far.
Oh yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, how much do you want? A little bit more. That's perfect. Put one in. Yep, it's ready. Okay. Drop it. So to make backcountry popcorn, just fill the bottom of your pot with enough canola oil to fill the bottom of it, to cover the bottom. And then let that heat up and get nice and really hot before you put your kernels in. That one just jumped out. <laughs> and once the oil's gotten nice and hot, pour your kernels in. Again, just enough to cover the bottom. You don't want layering. They won't pop properly. Cover it with the lid right away in case it starts popping because that's going to be hot oil bursting out of it. The trip's almost at an end, <laughs> but we get one last stop before we pack it up. Another waterfall. No idea what it looks like, but if it's anything like the first one, it'll be awesome. Oh wow, it's just a tiny little shoot through. Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm excited. I'm pretty excited. Oh yeah, look at that. Imagine we dumped here oh, and man. it just got sucked down. <laughs> wow. Even beautiful from up here. I think this is one of the more beautiful waterfalls Whoa. I've ever seen. It's shaping up that way. It's stunning. Wow. Even the rock is spectacular here. This is really quite a place. Manitou Falls on the Pick River. Fish this. Better be the best fishing of our lives.
Where's the net? Just a pike? Uh, not bad. Meaty. Meaty. Hi, buddy. There you go. Paddling back upstream just a little ways to get back to the access point, but that was a well worthwhile det detour. Spectacular falls. What, we both agreed it's one of the most beautiful we've ever seen, but it's so hard to capture because it's just spread out and there are all these sub waterfalls coming off of it. Really nice conclusion to the trip. This trip's almost coming. This trip? Nope. Nope. Shut up. Don't look at me. Piss off.